Hey, it's Miss Alana working on math, being awesome and amazing, and I know you are too. This is the beginning of our day two, day two of our fall harvest math videos, pairs. Make sure you have your sheet. Bam, I have mine. Are you ready to begin? Let's get started. So at the top, it says right there that you are buying pears from the farmer's market or maybe the grocery store. You need to add, subtract, multiply, or divide the following whole numbers, decimals, and fractions to calculate the solution to each problem. So there are five questions in the front. Some you might have to add, some subtract, some multiply, some divide. Some are single step, one step problems. Some are multi-step, that means two step or more problems. Lots of whole numbers, decimals, fractions all over the you can work it out because you're so smart and you've been working so, so hard. So we're doing question number one. This is part one. Are you ready? Let's begin. It says a pound of Bartlett pears costs $1.34, while a pound of Seckle pears costs $1.65. How much does three pounds of Seckle pears cost? First thing we need to do, we can use our cubes clues, cubes clues, Cubes, clues is the C step. We need to circle the numbers. Circle the numbers, help me find some numbers. Bam, right there. $1.34, what else do you see? Right there, $1.65, what else do you see? There's a number three. Do you see any other numbers? Nope, we're done with that step. Check that step off. The next step in our cubes, clues, is the U step. Underline important words. Help me find important words in this question. We can underline pound. Do you see pound? Yep, right there. Pound, lots of pounds right there. What else? Bartlett pears. Bartlett pears. That's this one right here. Let me write that down. That is a Bartlett pears. And what else? Seckle pear. That's this one right here. You know what? I've never heard of that one. Huh. Learn something new. Oh, right here. Seckle pears right here. What other important words do you know? Do you see? We can underline cost. There's the word cost right there. Oh, another word cost right there. Okay, we can underline how much. I think we're done with all the important words. Done with that. The next step is the B step. Box the question. You can box it. You can circle it. I am going to highlight that. What do you see? How much does three pounds of seckle pears cost? That was an easy step. Done with that. The next step is to eliminate unnecessary information. You know how I tell you that... Math problems, sometimes they try to trick you. Sometimes even people try to trick you. Sometimes life tries to trick you. But guess what? You are so much smarter than all that. You better tell them I'm so much smarter than any trick or problem that comes my way. Let's take a look at this math problem and see. Is this math problem trying to trick you? Let's see. It says a pound of Bartlett pears costs $1.34. I'm going to go ahead and put that right here. Since that's important information, so that's for a pound. I'm going to write pound. I'm going to write per pound. And it says a cycle pair. A pound of that is $1.65 per pound. It's always good to have pictures and label your pictures or draw pictures to help you solve the problem, okay? Well, we're going to get to that next. It says, how much does three pounds of cycle pairs cost? Huh, guess what? This problem tried to trick you by giving you extra information that you didn't need. What? You know how that one person you know is always just extra with it, just extra with it. Yeah, sometimes I know I'm extra with it, but sometimes it's for a purpose. Sometimes, yes, for a purpose. Sometimes, you know, just being silly together. Have a good time doing math. Have a good time learning. Which here's some extra information about the Bartlett pair. See, it gave you that information, but you didn't need that to solve the problem. So we're just going to cross that out. 
I'm going to just cross it out because we don't need that because I don't want us to get confused. And I'm going to cross it out right here uh, because we don't need that to confuse us, okay? Now, you don't have to cross it out, but I'm going to cross it out so we remember. The last part is to solve and check. Well, we kind of started doing that by eliminating the information. So to figure out how much three pounds of these cost, what do we need to do? Ah, two ways. Now, you could show one way, but I think it's better if you show two ways because I know you could do both ways because you're so smart. We can either add that three times or multiply it by three. So let's look at how we can do that. We have $1.65, $1.65, that's one pound, two pounds, three pounds right here, add them together, or we can do $1.65 times three, bam, right there. And this way, we can already check it without even using a calculator. Use your mind to check your work. 5 plus 5 is 10, plus 5 more is 15. Write the 5, put the plus 1 up top. I think I'd rather do the three sixes. 6 and 6 is 12, 6 more is 18, plus 1 is 19. Or you can do 1 and 6 if you like. 1 and 6 is 7, 7 and 6 is 13, plus 6 is 19. Put the 9 plus 1 up top. We have 1 plus 1 is... Two, three, four. You can do these. Three plus one is four. Oh, the decimal. Come on down to the party decimal. Four, and that's dollar sign. Four dollars and ninety-five cents for three pounds. Let's do the other one and check our work multiplying. Three times five is fifteen. Write the five plus one up top. Three times six is eighteen plus one. 19, write the 9, plus 1 up top. 3 times 1 is, oh, no, don't bring the decimal down, because when you multiply, they like to hang out. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. Look at that decimal. What do we do? We count the places. Bloop, bloop, and we go bloop, bloop, and it goes right there. Don't forget your unit dollar sign, and bam, we got the same answer doing it both ways. So we know we're right. We knew we were going to be right because we're so smart. Now let's write the answer for the question. Make sure you show your work right there. Show your work. Solution. Let's write the sentence. How much does three pounds of seco pairs cost? Let's write three and write the word at the beginning of the sentence. Three pounds of... Psycho pairs cost how much? Four dollars and ninety-five cents. Period at the end. I am done with that. We are off to a good start on day two of our fall harvest math pairs videos. Remember, not only doing math strengthens your brain, but eating healthy and drinking lots of water strengthens your brain and makes you smarter and smarter too. So do the rest of it. Check out the videos if you need help. Don't forget to subscribe to Miss Alana's YouTube channel. Click the like, click the thumbs up button below. Like this video. And if you have any questions or any comments, go ahead and type them below and I'll make sure I'll respond to you. See you then.